Hello YouTube. Let's go back to China, to Sichuan's province. I already um, filmed one video about the Sichuan mysteries and secrets and UFOs and so forth. But there is much more to that land. Just to remind you that Sichuan is located in the upper reaches of the Yangtze River and the hinterland of southwest China. And uh, Sichuan province is also called the land of abundance. Maybe it's also the land of longevity. Because there has been a very interesting case, somewhat known in the West, but we don't, I believe, I don't believe we know all of the uh, details about it. There was a man whose name was Li Qing Yuan. He was one of the most famous residents of Sichuan who allegedly lived for 256 years. Naturally, his longevity attracted keen interest around the globe. Now, most of my information comes from the Russian sources, uh, because as you understand, uh, both countries border each other and the Russians are very much interested in what's going on in China, and vice versa. According to Chinese records, Li Qingyuan was born in Xi'an Xi'an in Sichuan in 1677, although he claimed to have been born in 1734. Russian sources indicate that the year of his birth uh, was 1680, while Western sources have it as 1677, and Portuguese sources say it was 1678. It is not exactly clear when he died, but the Chinese sources have the year as 1933. Li Qiang Yuan spent most of his life in the mountains of the province, collecting herbs and learning the secrets of longevity. In 1748, at the age of 71, he moved away to join the Chinese army as military advisor and martial arts teacher. Li was a medical physician an expert in herbs, a Qigong master, a tactical consultant, and a Taoist master. According to rumors, Li Qingyuan had 200 offsprings and 24 wives, surviving 23 of them. He lived longer, actually, than the USSR's champion of longevity, Shirali Muslimov, who was 168 years when he passed away. Li Qingyuan revealed to the Chinese warlord Wu Pei Fu his secret to a long life. Keep a quiet heart, sit like a tortoise, walk sprightly like a pigeon, and sleep like a dog. In 1927, Li Qingyuan was invited to Wang Xian to meet the government of Sichuan, General Yang Sen. The governor was amazed at Li's strength uh, vigor and skills uh, at such an advanced age. It was during this visit that the famous photographer of the Chinese old timer uh, was taken. In 1928, Li returned home where he died five years later. Legend has it that before his death, Li Qingyuan told his friends that he had completed everything he had to do in this world and was going home. Having said those words, he passed away. General Yang Sen ordered his team to investigate the truth of his history. The team interviewed Li Qingyuan's family members, who said that he was always old, as long as they could remember, and he was their grandparents' friend. In the 21st century, well-to-do people, Russian oligarchs, uh, those who own the Silicon Valley, the high-tech developers and so forth, are very much interested in longevity, in longevity. Nobody wants to die. So I'm sure they are looking into the life of Li Qingyuan. In my future video, I have something else to present about the so-called water of life. But I'll leave it to the future. I do want to come back to Sichuan province and tell you something that very few people know. And this has to do with the Mengding mountain. 
Now, the Mengding Mountain is the birthplace of tea cultivation in China, and Mengding tea is known in the country as the tea of the immortal. For thousands of years, the Chinese have enjoyed special tea varieties from the foggy peaks of Mengding Mountain. The area's um, damp climate being superb for growing tea. A man by the name of Shi Xiang was a researcher at the Beijing General Research Institute of Mining and Metallurgy. His hometown is Ya'an City in the Mingshan County in the central part of Sichuan Province on the tributary of the Min River. The city is located on the northwest side of the Mengding Mountain, that's on the Tibetan Plateau, 120 kilo 128 kilometers from Chengdu. When Xi used the Google satellite map to locate his hometown and region, he discovered something truly fascinating. To the north of the city, in the Mengding Mountain area, Xi Jiang observed a very unusual huge image. It resembled a person, perhaps a warrior, wearing a crown of feathers on a, or a helmet with an animal next to him. The animal reminded him of the Chinese mythical creature called the Qilin, the Chinese version of the unicorn but with multiple horns. She determined that the entire image is 10 kilometers long and 3 to 4 kilometers tall. So therefore occupying an area of 40 square kilometers. According to Xi, the best position from which to appreciate this image is from an aircraft or via satellite, 20 to 30 kilometers above the ground. The satellite image shows eyes, a mouth and a nose on the person's face. There is either a crown or a helmet on his head. Something that resembles a tunic is on the right arm of the figure's shoulder, and a bracelet is visible on the arm. The left arm is bent at the elbow. To some people, the warrior's figure resembles a Roman soldier. The mysterious image points in the direction of the southwest. Who or what created it? Geological formations? Human or humanoid builders? Meteorite impacts? The specific cause of its formation remains unknown. Shi Xiang was amazed and decided to explore the discovery. In July of 2007, he and a geologist ar arrived in Ya'an city. They made their way to Mengding Mountain and reached the location of the figure's head. They found rivers in the area and cl concluded that millions of years in the past, the mountain region had been shaped by floods. One cannot see the image from the ground due to its huge size. The story was actually reported in the Chengdu Evening Post. On March 3rd of 2008, Shi Chiang also visited the mountain site with reporters and scientists to investigate the discovery further. Now, I found out, I did my research, that uh, China Central Television had a 2010 special documentary investigating the mysterious image in the Mengding Mountain. It was it is a very well researched program, and it's accompanied by English subtitles. I watched it. I was amazed. Now, those who watch it can see the mysterious image very clearly. The documentary is screening fascinated uh, Chinese public, but the image continues to be shrouded in mystery, very much like China has been through the ages. It was the image of Quilin that attracted the attention of this investigation, let's put it that way. The first Quilin is said to have appeared in the garden of the legendary Huangdi, the Yellow Emperor, in 2697 BC. Please look at my video, China's Ancient Aliens. A powerful magnitude earthquake, I think it was more than seven on the scale, hit the Yan city in April of 2013, killing 200 people. There have been other earthquakes since then. 
Because of the epicenter's proximity to the Lushan County, much damage was incurred to many centuries-old buildings, which, you know, had survived the previous magnitude 8 earthquake in May of 2008. I do not know how the mysterious image of Mangling Mountain fared in all the earthquakes, but we need to find out, because definitely this is the image of some Think very mysterious from antiquity. Thank you. Please share and subscribe to my YouTube channel.